you are not ready for feature of shares issued at premium for feature of shares issued at premium originally we'll discuss two questions in it okay in this topic we we'll discuss two questions for feature of shares issued at a premium right on a problem where are we m now right on m limited m limited m limited issued shares of m limited issued shares of face value 100 each at M limited issued shares of face value 100 each at a premium of 20%. Tell me what is the issue price of the share now? Uh, you right. Issue price is, if you don't know how to calculate, 100 plus 20% symbol, 120 rupees. Issue price is 120 rupees. Right on. Application. 30 rupees allotment 50 rupees final call 40 rupees final call 40 rupees a shareholder holding Wait, 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 write down, continue. Premium is included in allotment money. Premium is included in allotment money. Premium is included in allotment money. Full stop. Write down. A shareholder holding 1000 shares fail to pay allotment money and the call money a shareholder holding 1000 shares fail to pay allotment money and call money Full stop. They need to pay allotment money and call money. Full stop. These shares were forfeited. These shares were forfeited. And reissued for reissued for 100 rupees only can we start let's start quickly right here right on the entries one where application money is received bank account data to share application account 1000 into 30 30,000 Please be quick. Bank account, return to share application account, 1000 to 30, 30,000. Next, application money is transferred to capital. What is entry right? Share application account, return to share capital. 
How much? Thirty thousand. Share application account data to share capital thirty thousand. Now tell me, when allotment money is made due, what is the entry pass? First of all, how much amount are you going to call? Fifty rupees. Fifty rupees we are calling. So as soon as we call, share order becomes a debtor to the business, to the company. Share allotment account debtor. How much? One thousand into fifty. Fifty thousand. We have made by debtor for fifty thousand. Fifty rupees. Out of this fifty rupees, how much is the debtor for face value? How much is the debtor for the premium which the company is going to collect? Out of fifty. 30 rupees is for face value and 20 rupees is for premium. So 30 rupees is credited to share capital account. Thousand into 30, 30 thousand. Two securities premium. Thousand into 20, 20 thousand. Look at the board, everyone. The meaning of this entry is the company saying capital has been received 30 thousand. Premium has been received 20 thousand. But actually, money. Is going to come after some time. Even without receiving the money, we have credited capital. We have securities credited securities premium. Assuming that money has come, and we are saying till the amount comes, we have to show the shareholder as a debtor in which register, share allotment register. We are saying capital has been received. We are saying premium has been received. Till the time the amount is collected, we are saying the shareholder will be shown as a debtor in which register, share allotment register. Continue. When allotment money is when allotment money is not received, what is entry rate when allotment money is not received? Calls in arrears account debtor to calls in arrears account debtor to share allotment account. How much? Fifty thousand. Calls in arrears account debtor to share allotment account. Fifty thousand. Clear, everyone. Next. Did we stop here? No. We wrote one more letter for or call first call. When first call is made due, what is it to you write? Share first call account debtor to. Share first ten final call account debtor. How much? Thousand shares into forty rupees. Forty thousand. Share first ten final call account debtor. Thousand into forty. Forty thousand. Now this forty rupees has to be split into. Is there any split? It's purely part of face value. If there was premium, then what is the entry rate? Share capital account will be credited with face value. Premium will be credited with the premium amount. Is it clear? Right now in this problem, forty rupees is only towards face value. To share capital, forty thousand. Next, when call money is not received, what is entry you write? When call money is not received, calls in arrears account debtor. Forty thousand to share first and final call account. All scenarios account data are to share first and final call account. Forty thousand. You will complete this. Now tell me. We are now going to forfeit his shares. Now, well, let us use the shortcut. Now, please tell me how much money we have called. Called, called. Thirty at the time of application. Fifty at the time of allotment. And forty at the time of final call. Thirty application. Fifty we have asked at the time of allotment. Eighty we have asked. 
40 at the time of final call. How much you have asked totally? 120. Out of the asked amount, how much is face value? Out of 120, how much is face value? 100. How much would have been credited to capital account? 100. So now how much has to be cancelled? 100. Share capital account data for feature entry. 1000 into 100, 1 lakh. I will again explain. We have asked 30 plus 50 plus 40. 120 we have called. Will we credit the entire 120 to capital? Whatever we are asking, out of that only face value is credited to capital. So out of 120, how much would have been credited to capital? 100. That is what we are now debiting and cancelling. To share capital account, share capital account order 1000 to 100, 1 lakh. No oh, sir, I am not able to understand. Pillars, Pillars and Pillars. How much do you get? Check. How much do you get? 30,000, 30,000 and 40,000. 1 lakh rupees. Okay. Wait. We have cancelled capital. Leave one line space here. Then you write calls in arrears. Calls in arrears account. Calls in arrears. How much amount we have not received till now? Calls in arrears. 50,000 at the time of allotment and 40,000 at the time of first call. 50,000 plus 40,000. How much we have not received till now? 90,000. So cancel calls in arrears. 90,000. Wait, don't be in a hurry. Without receiving money, we have credited a profit account, securities premium. Without receiving money, can you show profits? Logically, common sense. Without receiving money, can you show profits? If you say yes, sir, then what I'll do is I'll fill my balance sheet with all profits. Who will stop? You are saying no, without profits, you can show. Without receiving money, you can show profits. So, if you accept that, I'll say, okay, I've got a lot of profit, money will come in future. Can I, can I show that? No, boss. Without receiving money, can you show profits? No. So, here, without collecting paisa, we have shown profits. How much? 20,000. Without collecting, we have shown profits. So, what we have to do now? Cancel it. Securities premium. Account data. 20,000. If it was collected, if it is collected, do you need to cancel it? I am showing profits. I have collected it. Why should I cancel? I have shown profits, but I have not collected it. Not correct to show such profits, no. You have to cancel it. So here it was credited. Without collecting, credited. Now we have cancelled it by debiting it. Over. Okay. Now tell me, how much we collected and uh, put it in our pocket and told them, boss, don't ask this money. 30. Application we received how much? 30. And they'll say, Bhulja. He said, you forget this amount. 30 rupees we received at the time of application. Are you going to give that money back? No. And that 30 rupees was collected towards face value. Application money, 30 rupees. Is there any premium in that? No premium. 30 rupees was purely part of face value. So 30 rupees towards face value we have collected and we are not going to give it back. For feature, profit. To share for feature account. How much? 1000 into 30. 30,000. Is the entry tally? Yes. Plus, plus, minus, minus. Entry is tally. 120 debit, 120 credit. I'll again explain. Share capital account was debited with 1 lakh. Why? Because it was credited with 30, 30 and 40. 1 lakh was credited to capital account. We want to make his capital account balance 0. And we have debited his account with 1 lakh. Without collecting money, we have shown profits. Not correct. Hence we have debited and cancelled. 
arrears. They are saying this money will come in future. I have doubts. I am cancelling. Amount collected and eaten by the company. How much? 30 rupees per share. Profit for the company. Credited to calls to share per feature account. Is it clear? Now shares are reissued. At what price? 100 rupees. Reissue. Reissue. Reissue is at par, premium or discount? Par. Par. Reissue is at par. Yes. How? But original issue price was 120, no? Original issue price was 120. Reissue price is only 100. First to decide whether a share is issued at par, premium or discount. You should compare reissue price with the not original issue price with face value. Okay, please don't bring economics into accounting. Don't say that if per feature would not have happened, we would have received 120. Because of per feature, we are receiving 120 rupees opportunity loss. I should show it in the books of accounts. Can you show opportunity loss in the books of accounts? Accounting doesn't account for opportunity losses. So you have to compare reissue price with the face value. Reissue price is how much? 100. Face value is 100. So company should feel no profit, no loss. What is entry rate? Bank account data are how much? 1000 into 100. 1 lakh. 2. Share capital, 1000 into 100, 1 lakh. Now tell me, how much furniture profits are free available with us? On furniture we received a profit of 13,000. There is no reissue loss. So entire per feature profit can be transferred to capital reserve. Right on. When free profits are transferred to capital reserve. What is it will write? Share per feature account data to capital reserve. How much? 30,000. Clear everyone? Now we will do the same problem. Same small situation. 